Hey you! Still handling obsolete, unstable, heavy and expensive rockets? Still tied to an idea of space travel with a frightening failure rate? Well, wake up friend, we're in the 21st century. No more rockets, switch to Star Tram. We've already talked about it in the video Space Grills. Sending stuff to space is very, very expensive. Not only because the rocket is enormously heavy, its parts are unrecoverable, its hold capacity is ridiculous, and the amount of propellant needed is crazy. But also because the launches fail far too often. Many alternative proposals have been made. From rockets that ride the wave of a series of nuclear warheads to an elevator tens of thousands of kilometers high. Absurd ideas for which we do not yet have neither the materials nor technologies to carry them out. But the Maglev launch system, or Star Tram, is based on existing technologies. Trains with magnetic levitation have already been operating for some time in China and Japan, transporting thousands of passengers daily at 500 km per hour. What needs to be done is to adapt what we already have to what we need, that is, from a train that proceeds at ground level to substitute space rockets. Of course, all in a vacuum tunnel to allow the space tram to reach incredible speeds. Actually, two maglev launch systems exist, Gen 1 and Gen 2. The Gen 1 is designed only for the launch of cargo, not people. The total length of the route would be about 110 kilometers, and the evacuation altitude in the atmosphere between 4,000 and 8,000 meters, with an angle between 10 and 15 degrees, and an acceleration of about 30 g. Furthermore, compared to other works such as the Large Hadron Collider, the tunnel diameter for Gen 1 would be 3 meters and not 10, therefore a much more modest work. Gen 2 would not differ much from Gen 1, except for a couple of details. Both would have roughly the same characteristics, but since Gen 2 is designed to send people into space, in addition to cargo, the acceleration should be much lower, from the initial 30g to about 2g, a little less than an astronaut suffers during a traditional rocket launch. This means that the tunnel should be about 15 times longer than the one for Gen 1. In addition, the Star Tram should be evacuated from the acceleration tunnel at much higher altitude, around 20 km, where the atmospheric density is about 5% of that at sea level, greatly reducing aerodynamic drag and heating. This requires a structure that beyond the natural altitude reached allows the tunnel to rise up to the necessary one. Are you interested in the topic? You can learn more about it and get lots of news and previews on our Facebook page or on our Patreon. You can also buy from the Amazon link in the description Star Tram, the new race to space, from which we gathered most of the information contained in the video. As already mentioned, even with the most modern vehicles to launch a kilogram into orbit costs about $3,000. The Star Tram could reduce costs down to $50 to $100 per kilo, as the infrastructure can be reused over and over again, including the passenger and cargo spacecraft as opposed to rockets. Even the necessary propellant is infinitely less expensive, as maglev uses electricity and magnetism to function. Furthermore, depending on whether Gen 1 or Gen 2, the total cost of the total implementation would be around 20 to 60 billion dollars. It seems like a lot, but when compared to something else, like the Apollo program, which costs 170 billion dollars itself, one realizes how small it is given the scale of the work. Considering that a much more intensive use would be made of it than what is made now with the rockets, everything would repay itself quickly to then begin to generate income. A work like this could even be carried out by a single economically stable country, which would pay the costs and start earning in more than reasonable times. But what is the use of sending large quantities of material and people into space? Is it a sensible investment? It is, definitely. Currently, everything we do in space, sending satellites, probes or space telescopes to other planets, astronauts on space bases and so on, is very expensive. 
But in addition to what we already do, paying a lot of money, there are many useful works that would not only quickly project humanity into the future, but would also help solve existing problems. Some examples are the constant monitoring of space to prevent collisions with excessively large celestial bodies, therefore dangerous for the Earth. Global warming could be mitigated with a space lens. The substantial increase in the use of photovoltaic energy collected directly from space, thanks to solar power beaming. The colonization and implantation of fixed structures on the Moon and then on other planets. All this is not possible due to the enormous costs it would take to transport necessary materials off of Earth. But thanks to the reduced costs with the space tram, suddenly it would become all possible and indeed more than convenient. The space race started yesterday. Thank you for being with us up to this point. We hope the videos entertained you, interested you and why not, convinced some government to leave the old smelly noisy rockets behind. Don't forget our Patreon. By adopting a spaceship and donating even just a little, you can make new journeys into the cosmos, the future and into curiosity possible. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video with your friends and leave a comment. And we'll see you on the next video.